want any more compliments. I'm tired of it. Another week, another scent of the week. Havas for Him by Rasasi. I felt compelled to review this one because I put out a Rasasi video like two years ago and it keeps getting recommended to people and that becomes their first impression of me. And at first it seems like a negative video against Rasasi. If you haven't seen it, I'll put it up in the cards up top, but it wasn't. It was a video detailing the quality of these Rasasi fragrances, even though some of them are pretty much clones. We can agree on that, but they do have some original fragrances. Havas for him is often compared to Invictus Aqua by Paco Rabanne. It is a really fun, sweet fragrance that has some fresh qualities to it. It's absolutely wearable in the summer and it is definitely the summer, so. Y'all know this smells good, but I wanna see how good the performance is. This is going to be a performance test. I'm gonna wear Havas under three very drastically different situations and see how it goes. So today is gonna act as our control. It's going to be a fairly chill day. I'm gonna spend a lot of it indoors, but I'll be going outside as well. So for a normal use case, how does this thing do? Let's see. So when you first look at the note breakdown of Havas, it kind of seems like, okay, you know, you got some aquatics, you got some fruitiness, some saltiness with ambergris. Kind of seems like a generic Western fragrance. But what's fascinating is Rasasi is not a Western fragrance house. It's Eastern, but it has that Western sort of appeal. It smells like something that you could just pick up at the department store. It's likable, it's clean, it's fresh, it's sweet, it's fruity. And even though some people do compare it to Invictus Aqua, when I first wore it, <laughs> excuse me, it kind of reminded me of Individual by Mont Blanc. Yeah, obviously a bit of a lighter version, one that's more summer friendly, but it has almost a berry-like fruitiness off the opening. And then when it dries down, it does sort of smell a bit more like Invictus DNA. But scent-wise, it's an incredibly likable fragrance. I can't see many people disliking it, but there could be a consensus that, yeah, it does kind of smell like a bit of a basic bro fragrance, but that's not what I think. That's not my opinion. You'll get my opinion throughout this video. <sighs> Performance day, complete and utter success. I just finished playing God of War to wind me down for the evening. It's 11 o'clock at night. I applied the fragrance at 12 noon. 11 hours later, it's still there. It's clearly there. 11 hours after application, and this is a fresh fragrance we're talking about here. I was catching whiffs, I remember, about five hours after applying, but I gotta say, strong outing for Havas. Very impressed. Hey, Harambe. Good morning, everyone. This is going to be a put it through its paces type of day for Havas. I've been really, really impressed with the performance. The smell is so nice, but I'm gonna take this fragrance to the gym and have kind of an active day with it and see how I feel about it in the air around me. Further simulating a usual day for me because I do enjoy the gym from time to time. So here's the good news. I got an unsolicited compliment. Woo! Thank you, Havas. What? It kind of backfired at the same time. As I was walking in, there was a lady behind me and she said, Wow, well, you smell really good. Are you wearing Eternity for Men? I said no because I was obviously wearing Rasasi Havas and kindly went on my way. This woman just creeped the entire workout. She kept following me around like in the distance, sort of like looking at me and then like just looking away. And it kind of gave me the heebie-jeebies, guys. But I got a compliment, even though she thought it was Calvin Klein. But I gotta tell you, man, after that experience, I don't want any more compliments, okay? Enough. Leave me alone. Havas by Rasasi. This is a fragrance that I neglected for a long, long time. I tried it a long time ago when Rasasi started emerging as this powerhouse. Middle Eastern company. At first I got Tasmeem, I blind bought that one and really didn't like it. Havas I kinda liked, but I already had Invictus Aqua at the time so I didn't feel a need to get it. But now that I've worn it for the whole week, I gotta say guys, this is a fragrance that is totally worth getting. Such a versatile fragrance, it has Middle Eastern performance with a Western smell. It smells really, really likable, very designer-esque if you're into that kind of thing. But don't take my word for it. Let's see what D thought of this one. Jesse Ventura here. We just watched a bunch of Jesse Ventura videos. <laughs> um, crazy guy. D, what do you think of my fragrance of the week? Blends nicely, like it wasn't like overpowering. 
like, at all. Is it? It's like a little bit sweet and dark. Sweet, sweet and dark. Nice. I don't know, like chocolate. Like chocolate, that's kind of dark. That's like the kind of feeling I have. Is it is it too much for like this weather or is that No, no. No, it's like sweet, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, definitely sweet. So not exactly a glowing review, but I still think it's an amazing fragrance. I got two unsolicited compliments this week. One from the weirdo lady and one for my parents. They both collectively agreed that I smelled pretty cool. If you're looking for a very likable, good performing fragrance for the summertime, you can kind of wear it year round, really. I got mine from fragrancebody.ca. Just get it. And if you're interested in seeing that controversial Rosasi video I made a while ago, click on it and see that it's not actually that controversial. It just has a weird negative clickbaity title, but this is my opinion. I'll get your own, okay? Bye.